Hey there, it's Sharon Pope. Today I want to share with you a very unlikely story from a former client of mine. I'll refer to her as Leslie. That is obviously not her name. Now, Leslie was an absolute powerhouse of a woman. She ran her own business and that business helped other women entrepreneurs grow their business. She owned her own real estate. She had raised two babies who were now the proud parents of three of her beautiful grandchildren. And her marriage of 14 years, though, had been in chaos for about the last five when she and I had started working together. So she had completely disconnected from her husband. In fact, she just wasn't really interested in trying to reconnect with her husband. She had gotten involved with an old flame and so was actively involved in an affair. And she had left the family home, so they were living separately. Interestingly, her husband didn't realize that the marriage was in trouble, even at that point when she had moved out. He just thought she needed a little extra time and space to, you know, work and things. <laughs> so if you were to ask her when she and I first started working together, I think she would tell you that she came to me wanting me to help her unwind her marriage and to do it in the most peaceful and loving way possible. Because while she wasn't interested in rekindling anything with her husband, she also wasn't out to hurt him because he was a good, solid man, right? And if that's what she wanted, my help to unwind the marriage, of course, I would have helped her to do that in the most peaceful and loving way possible. But as you might expect, that's not really what ended up happening. After learning and applying many of the tools that I teach, she started to change the way that she engaged with her husband. And when she started showing up differently inside the marriage, he started to respond to her differently. And that surprised her. She created this small little opening where there really wasn't one before. And then as she began to trust herself more and more, she started to open up more and more with her husband and the nature and the dynamics and the relationship had completely changed. Now, occasionally this incredible woman will still reach out to me and tell me how she's doing and tell me how the marriage is going. And um, it's amazing. She tells me that they are closer than they've ever been. Now, yes, some of that is the tools that I taught her. Some of that is the way that I held her accountable and supported her through the process. But most of that change was a result of how she showed up to really do this work. Now, this is one of the big misnomers about books. So this week, you probably know by now <laughs> that I am launching my ninth book. It's called In Love, 21 Relationship Secrets for When You Have Love for Him But Are No Longer In Love With Him. Now, I'm going to tell you something about books. Anyone can read a book, but that is not going to change your marriage, right? With hundreds of thousands of books on the market, which have sold millions of copies, if reading a book alone could change a troubled relationship, do you think we would have the divorce rates that we do right now of 50 to 73% of divorces or marriages ending in divorce? I don't. A book alone doesn't do it. Get the book, read the book, be inspired, of course, but don't stop there because until you apply whatever it is that you have learned in that book, nothing's going to change. And that's where app application is where all the magic happens. I'm here to tell you. So do I want to sell books? Yeah. But more importantly, I want to help change relationships. I want to change lives. I want to see if some marriages can be saved before we throw in the towel, or I want to know that really we tried our best and we really gave it our best effort. And even then, if it didn't turn out the way that we had hoped, we do have an answer that we can trust and believe in. So the difference between my client, Leslie, and anyone else who is struggling in a lonely and disconnected marriage was her willingness to do it differently and to apply what she had learned. Now, in her story, she was the difference maker, wasn't she? Because as she started changing, his reactions and responses changed, and then that changed 
the way that she was feeling about him, right? So she was willing to be the difference maker. So my question to you is, are you willing to attempt to be the difference maker for your own relationship? And if you are, then I want you to go to 21relationshipsecrets.com and take advantage of the book offer for a discounted price plus all the promotional material. But I got to tell you, the discount and the bonuses go away tomorrow. So if this speaks to you and if you are ready to not just read a book, but to apply what it is that you learn inside that book, then I want you to go to 21relationshipsecrets.com. I'll see you there. Women find me when they are feeling stuck, lost, confused, and they're not sure whether they can fix their marriage because they've tried everything and it hasn't worked. And they're thinking, oh my God, is the only answer to leave here? Eternally grateful for Sharon for the things that she's given me, but just the peace of mind that when I make a decision, I can own it now.